In the previous video, we discussed about the unemployed and different types of unemployed conditions in humans. Now, in this video, we'll be discussing about the Downer syndrome in detail. This Downer syndrome is the genetic disorder. That is the type of aneuploidy, particularly the autosomal aneuploidy. This genetic disorder occurs due to the presence of all or a part of extra 21st chromosome. So this way we call it trisomy 21st also. Because in this condition, the three copies of 21st chromosome occurs within the cell instead of two. If we see normally, we have two 21st chromosomes or we can say all 22 autosomes occur in pairs. One from father, one from mother. But in case of trisomy, the 21st chromosome occurs three times. We get the three copies of 21st chromosome. Two from one parent and one from other. And mostly in Down syndrome, we get one copy from father and two copies from mother. Now let's see what are the causes of Down syndrome. Meiotic non-disjection and Robertsonian translocation are the main causes of Down syndrome. We see in meiotic non-disjection, the homologous chromosome pair fails to separate during meiosis first, mostly during maternal meiosis first. And in this way, the one cell gets extra chromosome and one cell gets none. Like if we have a cell with homologous pair or two chromosomes, then upon meiosis, the one cell will get one chromosome and other will get other one chromosome. But due to non-disjection, the homologous pair fails to separate and with this one cell get both the chromosome and other cell gets none. So this is the meiotic non disjunction The other cause is the Robertsonian translocation. In this event, the long arm, that's the Q arm of 21st chromosome is translocated to the long arm of 14th chromosome. In this animation, you can see how translocation occurs. The Q arm of 21st chromosome translocates and attaches to the Q arm of 14th chromosome. And with this translocation, we get 21Q, 14Q chromosome. And also we get a smaller chromosome, that's 21P and 14P chromosome. This smaller chromosome, that is the dual P arm chromosome, is lost in the successive divisions because of its smaller size. And also remember the meiotic non disjunction causes primary Down syndrome, while as Robertsonian translocation causes familial Down syndrome and are called translocation carriers because this Robertsonian translocation does not cause direct effect of Down syndrome. Now you might be wondering why this meiotic non disjunction causes Down syndrome while as Robertsonian translocation only acts as carriers. It all depends upon the dosage compensation of gene expression. When there is extra chromosome in the cell, that way there is overexpression of genes and dosage compensation is disrupted. So in non disjunction we directly get extra chromosome and dosage compensation is disrupted and there is Down syndrome. And when we look at the Robertsonian translocation, here only the Q arm translocates within the 21st and 14th chromosome and it does not disrupt the dosage compensation, but it only acts as translocation carriers. So all these monosomies or trisomies occurs due to the disruption of dosage compensation of gene expression. Now let's see in detail how this non disjunction occurs. First of all, we know we get 23 chromosomes from father and 23 from mother, thus taking a total of 46 chromosomes. But this Down syndrome occurs when either of the parent donates 24 chromosomes and we get 47 chromosomes that way. And to see how we get this extra chromosome, let's focus upon the meiotic non disjunction that occurs during the meiosis first. Let's take an example of egg cell formation. First, we have Ugonium cell, that is the diploid cell having 2N condition. Here in this case, let's take a cell with N equals 2. Then it matures into primary oocyte while doubling its chromatids only. And in the primary oocyte, we get same 2N condition, but here we have 4 times chromatids, 4C. And now during meiosis, we know we get the reductional division at meiosis first, that's 2N to N. And in this reductional division, we get 2 cells. And both these two cells should get four chromosomes on each cell. But due to an error like SAC disruption, some homologous pair fails to separate. And in this way, we get one cell with six chromosomes and other cell with two chromosomes only. Then furthermore, the cell with six chromosomes divides into two cells having three chromosomes each, thus giving conditions as N plus one. While as on the right, we see two cells receive only one one chromosome each, thus taking condition to n minus 1. 
the n plus 1 is the trisomy while as n minus 1 is the monosomy so this is how the trisomy and monosomy occurs during the meiosis so this was all about Downer syndrome i hope you like the video if you like it give it a thumbs up do consider supporting my work on patreon and also make sure to subscribe this channel thanks